Do you ever get sick and tired of feeling sick and tired? You're just done. You want to feel better so that you can make the most out of your days and really just enjoy life to the fullest. You don't want to, you know, live for the weekend and always be bogged down and always overwhelmed and just can't keep up. Like you want to just feel better. Anyone else? Because I was there. And these are a few things that I've been doing that they might be simple. They're easy. You can start today, I promise you. And you are going to start to feel so much better. Hey there, friends. I'm Heidi, the Heavenly Minded Homemaker, and I love getting to share here in this space. We've been talking a lot lately about resetting our lives, right? Making our life what we know it should be and not just being bogged down and okay with you know being consumed by clutter and chaos and frustration in our life because it doesn't have to be that way and so we've really been focusing on going through our entire homes decluttering everything minimizing cleaning getting it all set and ready because my goal for my home is to have a nice and tidy home that looks great all the time and takes about no more than about you know 15 minutes of effort each and every day. So we're working on that. I'll have a playlist at the end if you guys want to come along with me and start that process as well. But today I wanted to focus a little more on some of those internal things. Us feeling better. We had an amazing conversation on our Wednesday prayer gathering. It's a live we do. You guys can go catch it every Wednesday at 11 Eastern Standard Time. And we were sitting down and we were talking about just how nice it is to feel good, right? It's hard to get out and do the things and be on top of it and feel like you're really enjoying life and moving along, not just getting by, but thriving when you feel miserable all the time, right? When you're uncomfortable, you're just struggling maybe with weight or health, you just don't feel good, no energy, you're sleeping poorly, all of those things come together and it makes it really, really difficult. And so the more I was thinking about it since our live, the more I said, you know what? It really does make me hone in and think on these areas, these things that I've tried to be really intentional about because when I am, I see the results and they're amazing. And I think we should be encouraged to make the most out of each and every day and to feel our best so that we can go out and seize the day. So one of the first things that isn't like directly me, although I'm benefiting from it, but it's my whole family as well. I feel like this was one of the first steps that I really started looking into and making just different decisions and things on. So that way our whole household could really start to feel that impact. And that was, I stopped using toxic chemicals in the home. There are so many things that we have in our home right now that when you start to look into it and you go, wow, I mean, these companies are being sued. These products are making people sick. They knowingly emit all of these hormone disruptors, breathing issues, you know, all of these things that I think we just assume, well, that's life that just happens. They come from these toxic chemicals. And so for me, it really became this quest to find natural alternatives, things that worked well, were affordable, and were things that I could enjoy in my home in a healthy and safe way. And I am going to share with you guys because we were talking about it on Wednesday, but you can come and join me here tomorrow. Um, you guys can go to the community tab. I'll link it down below as well, but come and sign up for the Zoom call we're gonna do this Saturday from 12 to 12.30. We won't be on long, but we were talking about what we've been using for our home and switching over from all of these like chemical filled nasty stuff that we don't want to be using to natural true safe things that are actually made right here in America so we're gonna talk more about natural living natural homes right here tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so you guys are all welcome you can sign up at the zoom link below to come and join me and hang out chit chat for a little bit and talk about that but finding natural cleaning that was effective, was clean, was affordable, you know, and, and things that I really enjoy using and I feel so much better about, you know, I don't have to worry about 
the kids smelling them or touching them or getting into them or anything because there's nothing toxic in them anymore and we feel those effects. We walk down any, if we happen to turn down like the laundry or cleaning aisle in the grocery store, my kids are like, oh, my head hurts. You know, once you've detoxed from all of those nasty chemicals, you realize how dangerous they are. Um, fresh air, you know, even in the winter months when it's a little too chilly, we open up the windows at least a little bit. I try to have the house open as much as we possibly can to let in that fresh air. We're outside as much as we possibly can, right? Getting in that fresh air, getting fresh air moving in the house is so important. And even for me, I love a house that smells good and it can be so hard sometimes to find something that's really effective at giving your home a lovely fragrance, but not being full of toxins and chemicals and nasty stuff. And I just recently found Lamp Berger. Um, it's a bajillion years old, a staple in France and all over Europe. And it is the most amazing home scent and home purifier. I have ever found out of any of the things that I've ever searched for. And so I will leave you guys some links down below. Again, if you're looking for something, I'm telling you, these are great, great, great resources in a toxic free home. And it really does make such a difference. Another thing I stopped doing was overeating stress eating, emotionally binging on stuff. And I know for me, that was something that can be so hard sometimes, but we fuel our bodies with junk and then we wonder why we don't feel good, right? You're tired, you're gaining weight, you're uncomfortable, your hormones are imbalanced, you have all of these issues that you're fighting with and it's so hard to want to go up to the next step and really move on with life and you know make the most of it and be active with our kids and doing all of the stuff when you physically feel miserable and we were talking about it on Wednesday when we all gathered for that live and I said I could care less how much I weigh the scale like does not it's it's not what I'm worried about how do I feel and I know for me like I went through such a period of just gaining weight, gaining weight, gaining weight. Uh, my skin was a mess. I felt miserable. My hormones were imbalanced. You know, I've had four kids, you know, going through all of this stuff and it just was miserable. And so really taking control and not overeating, not emotionally eating. I started doing things like intermittent fasting, which I love. I feel so much better when I'm sticking to like an intermittent fasting schedule. I even personally really enjoy fasting for 24 hours every week. Um, it's something I started doing a while back and I just feel good. It feels so nice and the science behind fasting and God's design for our body and all of that. There's so much into that, which is fascinating to study. Um, our family started eating a carnivore diet and y'all, I thought it was crazy. I've never felt better in my entire life um, than when I'm eating carnivore, or even kind of ketovore with the few things brought in after I kind of detoxed from everything. So overeating was a big one and it's amazing how much better you feel when you get serious about what you're fueling your body with if you guys have any questions you want to watch anything um, i will link down below our carnivore playlist and stuff if you're if you're curious and you want to see or if you have a question ask it in the comments below but really getting serious about what you're fueling yourself with is going to make such a huge difference for you. Now to hone in on this next point, this is so important and it might be one of the hardest ones to get up and get doing, but I promise you once you do it, you're going to feel great. And that is I stopped sitting for too long. So much of our lives these days, just our world, everything that's set up, it involves so much sitting. We're, we're not people that get up and move very often. We're in a desk all day. We come home, sit on a couch, right? Like we're just not active. And then we wonder why we don't feel good and why we're tired all the time and things hurt and all of those things come together. It's because we're sitting, we're sitting way too much. And so I try to never sit for too long. I try to make sure that even when I have things to be doing, I have a walking pad so I can stand at my desk and at least be going for a walk while I'm catching up on emails or sitting on a conference call or whatever it might be. That makes such a difference. I try to make sure that I plan out the things that I have to do that day with breaks in between. So if I've been lounging around, drinking my protein coffee, <laughs> maybe just enjoying myself a bit too much, 
I'll go ahead and run my vacuum mop. I'll get up and do that. So that way, hey, I'm up, I'm moving, I'm doing something, I'm feeling good. And then usually once I've been up starting to do stuff, I'm like, hmm, what else can I do? It's a total win-win. Another thing that we do is we found that our family loves hiking. It is like our favorite thing in the whole wide world to go do. So being intentional about that and saying, hey, every week we're gonna go for a hike. We're gonna find some great trails around us. We're gonna go out, we're gonna pick a certain day. That day is hiking day. It's one of our favorite things to do. Never thought I was a hiking person. I'm totally a hiking person. Something else that our family does is we really do prioritize going for family walks. Even if it's just for us around our property, is usually what it is, <laughs> but getting out, we take our great Pyrenees and even our sheep, really, and we go for a walk every evening and it's such a wonderful, just like wind down time. We see different things that are in bloom. We just get out around the property. The kids play, they go to bed easier. We have a wonderful time. My husband and I chit chat. We play with the sheep, it's a great time, but making that a priority to say, hey, Let's get out, let's get moving, let's enjoy some fresh air, let's be in God's creation. Whether it's around the neighborhood, the property, going somewhere, whatever it is, get up and get moving. Walking pads, lifesavers. You wanna watch TV? Pull out your walking pad and <laughs> walk while you're watching that. Just finding different ways to get moving and not be sitting for so much of your day it's gonna start to have you feeling worlds better. And the more you walk, the more you're really upping your health, but your feelings each and every day. Excuse all the funny shadows. It's just way too pretty outside to not enjoy some sunshine while I hang out and chat with you all. The next thing that I no longer do, y'all, this is huge. And I know for so many of you, this is like a serious, serious addiction. So we need to be for with ourselves and treat it for what it is, but have this conversation. I don't drink sugary drinks. The way our world is, the things that have crept into our diets and are so acceptable, if not encouraged today, so much sugar is consumed with our drinks and that wreaks havoc on your body on how you feel your moods your hormones your weight like literally it affects you in so many ways that i think we really should take it seriously soda stop drinking soda <laughs> nobody needs to be drinking soda i mean if you have a sip of something here and there maybe but like genuinely a sip of something here and there i know for me and even my husband who was the biggest soda drinker i've ever met in my life so don't tell me it's not possible because i watched it he was so anti-quitting soda biggest soda drinker you've ever met had to have soda i cannot tell you the last time i saw him even take us like get a soda Every once in a while, he'll have a sip of something or he'll get he'll get thinking he wants it. He takes a few sips and then it doesn't get drank. But I'm telling you, if he could do it, any of us can do it. Soda is so bad for you. Diet sodas, the worst, the worst, y'all. I like, I'm saying this because I love you and it hurts. Like we want to take care of ourselves and not be just slowly poisoning ourselves with junk and then wondering why we don't feel well. Um, even like juice isn't something that we do in our home. Um, it's just sugar. Um, every once in a while, might we have something that, you know, maybe, you know, we, we will do like crazy fun things every once in a while. The kids will get like a, a sparkling grape juice for like communion or something, but that's not something that we just sit and consume. Um, for me, I know I love water. Water, 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 right? All the water that you can drink. Lots of unsweetened teas. Um, I do sparkling waters if you still want something with a little bit of bubble in it. Um, and we will do homemade lemonade a lot where we fresh squeeze lemons. Um, if you wanna add raspberries or something else into it. And um, we use a monk fruit sweetener, but just very, very small amounts. You don't need it super duper sweet. And once you really detox yourself from that, it's amazing. You can start tasting stuff again. You start feeling better because you're not just inflaming your system. And it really makes such a difference. Coffee cream 
creamers. That's another big one. We drink so much sugar in our coffee creamers, our, you know, going to Starbucks, things like that. When we put more creamer in our coffee than we do coffee, um, that's such a big one. I know for me, I started doing uh, protein in my coffee. I make this amazing protein mix from this wellness company and it is so amazing has like minimal minimal you know stuff there it, it has like a almost like a vanilla latte and it's the best. If you have questions, you want to leave me a comment down below. I will tell you, but it is so good. And I wake up every morning after my intermittent fasting window opens and I have this protein coffee. I get like 30 grams of protein in my morning and I feel great all day. It's amazing. Um, until it's time for our, you know, we do like one big meal in the late afternoon and then I close up my fasting window and like, we're good to go. Um, but that I'm telling y'all watch the sugar that you're bringing in through your fluids each day because that is going to keep you bogged down, feeling gross, crashing, being tired, having trouble sleeping, gaining weight, disrupting your hormones. It literally affects so much. And we don't wanna be doing that. The last one here would truly be chemical filled like self-care products. I think the more, you know, I'm eating better, I'm not drinking a bunch of junk and sugar. Um, we've got, you know, toxic free stuff in the home and, you know, we're doing all of these different things, getting up and getting active and all of these wonderful, wonderful things. And that's great. And then I really started looking at what I'm like drenching myself in. And I think it's another one of those things that we don't realize the impact that can have. And whether it's, you know, having a good skincare routine. Um, for me, I love being able to paint my nails and have something that lasts and works you know there, there's different reasons for it but looking at natural things for my hair and my body right the soaps the things I'm cleaning myself with the shampoos and conditioners having healthy hair you know I like having long hair so being able to take care of it and have something um, that just made it enjoyable was really really nice um, I use lots of things like Castor oil is a powerhouse of nutrients for your skin. So using castor oil, rosehip oils, you know, there's so many natural things that God has given us here on the earth that when we use that instead of the like chemical wannabe products, it is amazing how much better you start to literally feel. Um, I do a lot of um, herbal skincare and things whenever what I'm washing my face with or using. I found some amazing things that, um, again, I'll link them down below. If you, if you guys are interested, they're just things to be there. I know I'm always searching for good stuff, so it's nice when you can find a friend who's like, hey, I use this and it was phenomenal. So I'll link it down if it can be a blessing, but finding things that took care of my skin well, that worked great. Um, if you guys are ever curious, like a skincare routine or something like, like I'm happy to share, especially getting a little bit older now and wanting to take care of my skin and make sure that it's in great shape and I'm not just wearing it down like maybe I did back in the day, you know, is really, really important. And, um, you know, even for me, I found Rocket Fuel um, from Beauty Guard, and it's their all natural system to help you grow healthy nails. And then their newest stuff that I just got out, y'all, this manicure is like a week old. I've been deep scrubbing our house. I was down working with the sheep yesterday. I was gardening earlier. Like I don't have a single chip in these. It's so amazing to find things that work so much better than the chemical filled stuff that we usually get in the store. But yet I'm finding these natural things and my nails are better than they've ever been. My skin's healthier than it's ever been. I feel better than I ever have. These are amazing, amazing things and really do make such a difference when you're like, man, what does today have to offer me, right? Like I want to live every day to its fullest. I want to maximize it all. I want to be doing stuff with my kids, with my husband, getting out and about, like just living a lovely life. And that's a lot easier to do when you feel good. So friends, I truly do hope that this can be a blessing to you as you look at these things that maybe it's time to stop doing some of this stuff. Maybe it's time to start taking them seriously, start feeling better and making the most out of your life. What are these things that you're struggling with that you're like, man, like I want to do that, but how I don't know what to do. Leave me a comment down below. And truly, if y'all want to come join me tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time, I have a link down below. Sign up for the Zoom call. We're going to hop on and me and a couple of friends that these guys are amazing and we've been working on this stuff here with the 
wellness company and looking for ways to just bring natural things into our home and to rid ourselves of just the toxic and the nonsense that the world is pushing out. So if you guys want to come join me and join in on that conversation, I'm going to grab a coffee. I'm going to sit down, probably outside, depending on the weather and chit chat with everyone over there on the zoom. So links down below, sign up, come and join me tomorrow. If you guys want to see a little bit more about this whole life reset process that we're doing, make sure you watch this playlist right up here. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Bye friends.